It ain't never too old. You're never too unfit. You're never too anything, to be honest. I was completely on the outside uh, before I, I started. Uh, and um, it's the most welcoming team sport in the world, I reckon. I'm Nick Hancock, I'm 49 years old, and I'm a prop for Plymouth Argham as well as their chairman. I got into rugby just over six years ago. I was 43, going through a divorce. Basically did no exercise or anything, needed a new social life, and um, I researched local Plymouth rugby clubs to find the most social club. Ended up joining Plymouth Argham, and that was based on the fact that I have a lot of Welsh friends who socialise through their rugby clubs up in, in Wales, and I thought that would be a good approach. So it was just for that, for social, nothing else really. I uh, wrote to their club captain and basically said I was this middle-aged man going through a midlife crisis, overweight, never really did anything and I wanted to join the rugby club and he came back, open arms uh, approach and then it took me two months to build the courage to go and do this. Trained with them because I thought I'd better train if I'm going to socialise with a bunch of rugby players and was shocked when I walked into the changing room and there was three, four, two Royal Marine commandos there and I was thinking I sure I researched this club properly and thought it was a bunch of old blokes. Couldn't walk for two weeks after that and it went from there and they, they used to say to me you're going to play prop and I used to say I'm not playing uh, and I've got a good friend who basically dismissed me when I first came to the club. He just looked at me and thought there is another fat old man that's going to just drink uh, around it and uh, his favourite saying is now how wrong he was. <laughs> An average day for me on a, a rugby match day, myself and Lucy, my wife, uh, we, we do the food around it, so today is preparation for 80 players. Lucy does most of the cooking, I must say, although I don't tell the lads that. He's good at chopping, so that's why okay, I, <laughs> well, I will let him chop, because he is quite fussy. He always tells me off if I don't cut enough of the pepper off the thing, so I just let him get on with the peppers and the onions. And then I do everything else. But he does the lugging in and out of the car. For me as well, she's quite good with that. I tried to um, serve it up as well, so I'll get some glory there. Yeah, he makes out he cooks it all, so he calls it his chilli, but it's actually my chilli. It's pretty much all of our life, especially the weekends, it's always rugby. It has been all from the very start since I met Nick, and in fact, the first time we met, he had a black eye and was hung over from playing rugby the day before and going out socialising in the evening. So I knew right away that rugby was a big part of his life. Fridays are normally running around getting everything ready for rugby. Saturday if we've got home games it's cooking for rugby. And then on Sundays I've got my boy plays rugby as well for a different club so we're up with him. And if he's not got a game then we tend to go down and see the minis for Argham as well. Lucy for my birthday this year she thought she'd be a bit inventive and um, got me a personalised uh, plate for, for me because of my passion for my rugby club. So I've got PA 55 RFC, Plymouth Argham RFC, or if you look at it, it says Pass RFC. Um, funny enough, that's worth more than my car. We're on our way up to the, our home ground at Robra, at Plymouth Argham. Um, got a car full of uh, food and stash and playing kit for the lads. Um, we're playing Tavistock, which is a, a local derby match. They are a, a good side. They were, they came, just avoided relegation last year, um, but they had come down from the league above. Uh, and this year they've started very strongly indeed. So I think we've got our work cut out today. Dressing the changing rooms so that when the lads arrive, it looks like uh, more professional. So they've got all their kit and uh, shirt numbers out. Uh, we've got these little signs that we'll put above uh, team positions. As a player, it just, it looks very good. Um, when you come in and you see all the shirts up like this, if with their numbers out, um, we've got socks and shorts put out for them as well. Um, it just makes you feel that you've got pride in the club that you're playing for. And to me, that's a, a big thing. Um, I introduced this concept, I think possibly my second season here, about having somebody come in and put shirts out because it just starts to get people in that playing mentality. They haven't got to rummage in a bag for their shirt or somebody else's shirt or anything. It's all, it's all there and it just gives them that bit of comfort. In my second season, we had a Colts team that were very good. They used to train on the same nights as us and they used to give us grief. 
and the Colts coach wanted to take him forward. Um, so he got voted in at the AGM and this team of maybe 10 to 15 18 year olds uh, came up uh, and at that time the 18 year olds would have been 26 years younger than me and then um, I was pre-season one beautiful summer's night and we're all lined up on the try line and the coach is talking about who's going to be captain this season and he um, pointed over in my direction and said this young man here and I literally looked left and right and left and right and he was pointing at me and I'm thinking oh my god I've had one season of rugby and these lads have been playing 10 to 12 years together and they're all young and fit and aggressive <laughs> what am I going to do so I happened to captain this young team we got through to a, a local cup final in that season and won it and that was the first time the club had won anything for 88 years in a piece of silverware so he was all very proud Two seasons ago, I was voted in as chairman. I was doing a lot for the club anyhow, and it was just a formalisation. And then I thought I would actually take the club forward. So we've now gone through and got RFU accreditation, and I consider ourselves a progressive club. We've got a proper development plan, and you know we want to go places both on and off the pitch. I've actually had a fairly good year this year. I got nominated for National Rugby Awards. You know, I looked at the category and I thought, you know, I'm, I'm just chuffed to be here. And then when they read my name out, that was it. I, everything went into a blur. The one thing in my head I was saying during the meal in my head was the person I needed to thank was Lucy, my wife. And then I didn't thank her. <laughs> I literally completely went out of my mind with the questions Alex asked me. It was an individual award, but I couldn't do it without the team that I've got around me. And that's what it means to me. It means more to the club than it does to actually to, to me because I have 15, 14 other lads on the pitch, three on, three on the sidelines that support me non-stop. Overall, it's been a good performance, good team building um, around it and uh, hopefully take us forward now into a, a more positive start to this season. You saw today I had, uh, I think, something like 23 minutes of uh, match time um, uh, uh, around it and I can have three minutes and still feel satisfied. Um, around it. It's a team game. You saw the, the way they welcome you on the pitch uh, and the way they cheer you off as well for the, the, the set you did um, and that's what makes it enjoyable for me.